Well, hello, everybody. This is Berlin Newby with Spirit Centered Business, and I wanted to give you guys a quick update because of all of the coronavirus kerfuffle and everything that's going on, and we don't actually know what's all going on, but we do know that it is affecting the economy. And so I have the experts on the line, Mark and Kate Wilburn, and I just wanted to give them an opportunity to update you on the current market conditions and what's going on, and they also have an offer for you. And this is in conjunction with the Spirit Centered Business show that they're on. So if you get this at a later date, make sure that you go to spiritcenteredbusiness.com and click the podcast button to get the full show that they did because they did an excellent job laying out exactly the spiritual foundations of what they're doing. But here is Mark to tell us what's going on, and today is March 18th of 2020. Okay, Mark, what is going on with the economy? (laughs) Well, first off, it's awesome to be with you. Thank you for the opportunity to to, um, talk to you. It's always a pleasure to to be on with you and with your audience. We really appreciate that. Um, As far as the economy is concerned, we're kind of in this unprecedented place where we are seeing a global economic shutdown for the first time due to some type of pandemic. Um, You know, the stock market's in a free fall at the moment. When we look at the S&P 500, we're down about 30% from 28 days ago off our high, um, Mm. which is a you know, it's really serious. Um, when we look at the Dow Jones, which I know most people are more familiar with the Dow Jones, we're actually down about 33% right now as we're speaking, uh, and that's in about, you know, 34 days time. So in a month, we've dropped about 33 34%. Um, a lot of your bigger industries, airlines, travel, food, cruise, all of these industries that really rely on leisure activities, group activities, are they are the ones taking the biggest brunt of this drop right now. Um, mm-hmm. When we made trout, when you know, when President Trump, along with numerous other countries, and started imposing travel restrictions, a lot of people began to cancel um, their plans. A because they had to. B you start setting in these mandatory quarantines where if you do visit a country, you're in quarantine for two weeks, I think it is. And so you have to actually add two weeks onto your time to go to a country and then two weeks when you return from your country. So it makes traveling not worth it um, Mm -hmm. at that point, right? And so, you know, you've got stocks like Norwegian Cruise Line that from its high back in January 17th, is down 87, almost 88% today. Wow. That's um, incredible. Now, yeah, okay, it, well, I'm sure you're going to get to if this is a good time to buy, but we that's will, the yeah, first we'll thing that, that I say. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, Carnival Cruise Line, which is, you know, one of the, the big major cruise lines, it's down 85% off its high, right at 84% off its high. Um from a month ago. And then you also have some of your your other airline carriers like Spirit Airlines, which wasn't in, you know, the best and fantastic of shape, but it's down eighty one percent literally since February sixth. And so, you know, the big question is, do we buy here? Is this a great time to buy? Um, my answer to that is if you want to be speculative, knowing that this can continue to drop. And so, you know, we look at something like this, and we, we actually hosted a, a webinar for our students and other people who wanted to join for some of this information, and we were talking when Norwegian was about $10, and people were like, oh, is this a good time to buy? Is this a good time to buy? And I said, it is if you're let, willing to let it go to five and understanding that whatever you put in here, you could lose 50% of that investment or more. Well, that's and, unless you hold it for longer, right? Because you know it's going to well, come back up, right? Well, that's the goal, right? So the goal is yeah. that it would. The goal is that it would come back up. And so my question is, you know, if you have limited resources to put into the market, which a lot of people do, you know, we, 
most people out there just don't have millions of dollars they can throw at this thing, Mm -hmm. but they also want to take advantage of it. You know, let's say that you have a thousand dollars that you're willing to put at work here. You know, maybe you buy a hundred dollars worth of the stock so that if it does drop 50%, you're only out 50 bucks instead of putting all $1,000 in, then you're out 500. And you say, well, well, I'm not really out that until I, until I sell it, right? Right, That's right, right. it comes back up. What if well, this, what if, it, what if one of the companies goes out of business? What if they go bankrupt? I mean, they, there's a lot of big unknowns because we've never had a global economic shutdown like this. And so to me, as someone who does this for a living, as someone who teaches people how to do this, any type of purchasing you would do now would be speculative. Now, I are see. there safe are there safe havens in there? Absolutely. I mean, you have stocks like Zoom Communications. Um, mm-hmm. that, that ticker symbol ZM. And from January, you know, January 28th, which is essentially where I was pulling the other data from, it's actually up 60%. And yeah, because we, we are staying meeting. at home. Right, we're staying at home and Zooming each other. <laughs> That's right. So in order to do meetings, you, you know, you do the Zoom communications. A lot of boardrooms are starting to adopt this. It's allowing people to see that, hey, we can work from home. Um, and so, you know, this particular stock's doing really well. Another stock that's doing well that a lot of people probably, once, once I say the name, you're going to be like, of course it's doing really well, Clorox. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So Clorox is actually at all-time highs right now, right, hovering right around $200. But from that January 28th mark is up about 28%. Now, is it the best time to go by Clorox? Is it the best time to go by Zoom? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying mm-hmm. is in the market, there's always this opportunity. And so when we have these stocks like your cruise lines, your airlines, um, another one I'm, I really like to watch right here is Darden Restaurants. It's mm. DRI. They, they own, you know, the Olive Gardens and Outback. They, they have a, a, a ton of restaurant chains that they actually own inside of their company, are mm. all of those restaurants going to go bust? Probably not, right? And so this is another one that we're looking at that from February 12th till now down about 75%. Well, mm. it's, it's trading at $30. How much lower can that go, Mark? It's down 35%. Well, the 2008 low was at 16 and so it could revisit those 2008 lows because a lot of states are imposing shutdowns on, you know, they're closing down restaurants, they're closing down bars, they're closing down food places, uh, unless you do something to go. And so, you know, what about these companies that they don't own the building, but they're paying rent on it? So mm-hmm. they're still paying rent on the building, they're still paying their their food staff, they're still paying, you know, people who aren't necessarily working on tips, like like your cooks, your managers, all these people still, you know, they're still on salary or some type of pay. Mm -hmm. Um, That overhead is still going to come out. So I I believe there's a lot more downside to this drop than what we're currently seeing because we don't know how long this is going to take. Right. And then – well, continue this, and then we'll talk to a little bit more about the spiritual side of it and things like that. Okay. And so when I'm, when I'm looking at your major indices, and so for people who don't know what that is, that's talking about the Dow Jones Index, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, um, these other indices, I see that we do have some, some more downside potential. Like I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see the S&P – which is sitting roughly around 2350 right now, which is the low of 2018. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that drop on down to around 2000, which was the height of the Obama years, just before Trump was elected. I mean, we could easily revisit that level. Um, honestly, I think we may even be able to go down to 1700, which if we were to do that, you're looking at another 
anywhere from 14 to 25 percent drop mm -hmm. in addition and mm -hmm. so what right. what's really difficult for a lot of people um you know especially because we're we're in a, a time where we all want to create wealth we want to take advantage of these deals we want to do what's what's financially prudent i think it's smart to start what i i use the word nibble you know start nibbling on some of these stocks that are at such a low value like the norwegian cruise line that's almost seven dollars a share right now you know buy a hundred dollars worth mm -hmm. and if it keeps going down great but you can also hold it because if it revisits its previous all-time low, which was actually at 25, you're making almost a 300% return. Yeah, you could, wow. You could hold that for a long time, right? Uh, sure. Assuming it, it stays solvent and, and they don't file for bankruptcy. Having mm -hmm. said that, you don't want to spend too much on this until – we actually find a bottom. And what I'm so excited about personally is a lot of our clients, a lot of our students, are, most of their money is on the sidelines in cash. And yep. so we're actually waiting for better opportunities to start getting in these things because when this does bottom, whenever that is, whether it's a, you know, six months from now, whether it's a year from now, when the markets do find a bottom and we do have a lot of these companies that are on extreme discount, extreme discount, uh, Marriott, for example, I mean, it's sitting right at $52 a share. You know, a lot of people don't think about the hotel industry, but right before this happened on February 3rd till now we're down 65%. And so being able mm. to pick up some of these companies, a year from now, if Marriott was at 25, I think that poses an even better opportunity. And so what I'm really encouraging people to do is start saving money to invest. Start taking a little bit of money per paycheck, put it to the side. Start taking money um, that you would normally have, right? If you, if you have money in a trading account and you're like, okay, I need to buy something. I feel this urge to buy something. Remember, the market's built to take advantage of human emotion. Yeah. And so you have to kind of think opposite of what you would normally think. So I'm really wanting to buy. Is this the bottom? Probably not. Are you okay if you lose 50% of whatever you put in the market right now? Well, no. Then you need to wait. If the answer to that is yes, then okay, go for it. But that's a personal risk tolerance that you have to ask yourself on. And so, again, what I'm encouraging people to do is hold this money until this thing does find a bottom, begins to start moving up again, then start buying at that point. Yeah, that makes sense. So it, um, one thing that's really yeah. important with what Mark is sharing is to, as as children of God, as sons of God, it is important that we begin looking at all of the current events going on, including our opportunities to take advantage of where the market is, like Mark is saying, to make sure that the intentions of our heart are properly aligned. And what I mean by that is let's turn our hearts toward the wise decisions to make turn our hearts toward wisdom and be careful and cautious not to turn it toward greed. Because when you start engaging with this economic fluctuation and your heart begins to engage with a greed mentality, how can, how can I rob from this? How can I, um, how can I build my kingdom on what God has brought down? How can I, you know, I mean, there's, there's different things that can come out. There is a difference between engaging with a greedy mentality and engaging with a mentality of wisdom. Really good and point. The, the reason I bring that up is because, uh, and this is all I will say about this, I've already seen some messes being made in the heavenly realms because of sons who are engaging inappropriately. Mm. And it has to do with um, 
with greed and taking advantage of what is happening. And I'll touch mm-hmm. on some, spirit, some more spiritual things in, in a couple of minutes, but I did want to, to make mention, let's make sure that our hearts are in a place to pursue wisdom on the timing of this, of this market entry. Good point. Thank you. And I, I think the timing is the key element here. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, we've, over the last few days, we've seen bigger drops than we've almost ever seen. I mean, a couple of days ago, we had the second biggest drop in hit percentage-wise in the history of the market. And so the thought is we're having these huge drops, so now we're going to have to see it back to the upside, right? It's going to happen again. Okay, but where do we get in? Where is that safe? And, you know, a lot of people feel a need to pick the bottom. Well, the danger in trying to catch a falling knife is you could get cut. What do you mean by pick the bottom? And so instead of trying to say, okay, I think this is as low as the market's going to go, or I think this is as low as, you know, Norwegian Cruise Lines is going to go, or Darden Restaurants, or American Airlines, or United Airlines, or whatever stock you're looking at that's taken a significant loss over the last two months, instead of saying, I think this is as low as it's going to go, think to yourself, how long did it take for this to actually go up? In this market right now that we're seeing, the place we're at right now happened on December 24th, 2018. So it took over a year plus to make it to its highs, and now we're already back to those bottoms. When we start looking yeah. at com- yeah, so when we start looking at companies like United Airlines, for example, which majorly off its highs, if we you know if we look at that from January 13th till now, it's down about 78 percent. Huge, wow. right? And so we looked at it like, man, this is a great buying opportunity. Well, the last time it was this low was actually in 2012. So mm-hmm. it's taken, what I'm saying is it's taken eight years to go from 20 to 90. So if you don't buy it at that absolute bottom spot and get it at, you know, $20, well, my, Mark, I didn't get it at $20. I got it at 30 Okay, so what did you give up? Maybe potentially ten dollars of profit, but you gained confirmation it is moving back up. Really good point. Yes. And so it's instead a, of instead of being dead set on saying, okay, well, I want to buy some stuff because it's cheap. How about saying I want to buy some stuff because now it's safe to buy. And unless you've been trained to see what that looks like, which the average person hasn't because we don't teach this stuff in college, we don't teach this stuff in high school, we don't, you, know, you don't know when that is safe. And so I would really encourage people to sit on their capital, not really putting it at work, but think about sitting on that capital so that when the selling is over, when the economy starts back up, when the coronavirus is gone, when the airline industry, it's safe to fly, it's safe to travel, all of the travel restrictions are lifted, then start buying because it's not going to go from 20 to 90 overnight. Great point. Really good point. Especially if you're risk adverse and you, you, you know, emotionally need that, safety zone. I'll, you say don't trade emotionally. I get that. But, you know, we're wired in certain ways and some people like the safe. And so I would, I totally, I love that advice. Right. That was great. Yeah. And so, you know, another thing to consider too is we purchase something, you know, I'm, I'll stay with United Airlines just to make our analogies congruent. And we look at this at 20, and we say, well, how much lower could this actually go, Mark? Well, the absolute low for American Airlines back in early 2009 was $2.95. So let's call it 3 bucks. It could drop $17 and revisit those lows. And so 
that would look like a about an 85% loss if you bought in now. And you say, well, Mark, I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold this for 10 years. That's great. I don't care who you are. If you put in $10,000 and you're down $8,500, emotionally, that can have a negative impact on you. And right. so it's hard, it's hard to hold through that stuff emotionally. Um, and, you know, it could take a few years to recover from this, right? It could it could hang out at some lows, and it could take a few years to recover. And so if you're not willing to do that, I would tell you to wait, be patient, and keep your money accessible so that when it is a good time, you have the capital to inject. Don't use it all right now because you think you have a good time. I would wait till you know you have a good time, then inject that capital and let it work for you. Mm-hmm. Great advice. Thank you. Okay, so tell us more about this webinar that you just did. This is free to the public? Yes, it is free to the public. So um, okay. we actually, our company, you know, we teach people how to trade the market. We teach people how to watch for these signs of these types of events. And I'm really proud to say that we saw something coming in February and we actually started putting a lot in cash. We didn't have a lot in working bullish in the market, meaning we think the market's going to continue to rally. Um, and so most of our clients haven't lost a lot of cash this year. Most of them are actually doing better than the market, which is awesome. Um, yeah. The vast, actually, the vast majority. Um, and so that's fantastic. Having said that, we have a webinar every two weeks where it's a, it's a paid-for webinar where we come in, we talk about what's going on in the market, we talk about some different opportunities to make money because we, we also teach how to make money when the market's going lower. Um, and so we're, this webinar is designed to look for those opportunities with one another. Well, the Lord really put it on our hearts to open this up to the public and kind of share what's going on from a market standpoint and what people could do to better protect themselves. And, again, it's not advice, but it's, it's letting people know their options. And I said something on our previous interview, you know, when people don't know they have choices, that's where fear sets in. Yes. And, so and we wanted to let people know, here are your choices. You actually have options here, even if – you have an, uh, someone managing your accounts, you're paying a financial advisor, you're paying um, one of these bigger companies to manage your 401k or your retirement vehicles and you're looking at it and it's dropping and you don't know what to do. What we wanted to do is show you there's actually things you could call and ask them about. And so it, it was really a webinar for empowerment to people so that they know, hey, these are my choices. These are some things that I can do. Um, and really give you some ammunition to help protect your future and your assets. And that was this past Sunday, which would have been March 15th for those who were, you know, might be listening to this a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So that webinar just goes in deeper to what we were talking about today and, um, you know, gives people their options and possibilities. I love that. I was going to ask you about, what if you do have a managed retirement account versus a self-directed one? Um, I guess you kind of just answered it just to call your, your manager and let them know what you're thinking about or how do you approach that or do you, is that stuff that you cover in the webinar? We do cover that in the webinar pretty substantially. Um, okay. Right. And, the, you know, the webinar is very thorough. It's about a two-and-a-half-hour, two to two-and-a-half-hour webinar. Oh, um, wow. Okay. And so, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a really big thing, and people, you know, we'll have a link available for people listening to this. Um, but essentially, I would have a phone call. You know, if, if your money manager has not called you right now, you have to ask yourself why. I mean, the markets are down 30-plus percent. Why are they not calling me? 
yeah. to talk about to talk about my plans, right? Um, mm-hmm. If they're not calling me, does that mean they don't care about me? I'm not saying they do or don't, but these are these are serious questions to ask. And one of the things that I point out in this webinar is, you know, I'm 38 years old. I've been trading for about 12 years now. Um, in my lifetime, we've seen this happening right now, about four major crashes. I mean, there's been some smaller retracements, but essentially four major crashes, 1987, the tech bubble in 2000, um, 07, 08, housing market, and what we're seeing right now. Meaning that this is an event that roughly happens once a decade. Now, that's not a terribly long time, right, once every 10 years. So most of the time the market's going up, but it is a cycle. Right. It is a cycle. And so if you don't learn from history, you're forced to repeat it. I don't want to repeat losing everything in 2008, Right? I don't want to repeat having the market drop and the average American losing 40%. And so if I know that this is an event like that, why would I not have a plan in place so that once the event happens, I can best prepare for it? And that's essentially what we go into. And so I, if I have funds that are managed by an individual or another company, I would call them and my question is, what is your plan so that I don't lose 40% of my investment. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I I need to get on this webinar. (laughs) (laughs) And and so that's why we wanted to make it free, because, you know, things that people haven't thought about. And, uh, you know, we had one lady that I mentioned, you know, if if your money manager hasn't called you, ask yourself why. And her answer was, well, probably because I'm small potatoes. And my, my reply to that is, yes, but your potatoes don't matter. Your potatoes are, are no less important than someone else's. That's I mean, true. This is, right? Yeah. And so this is your money. This is your, your future. That is important, and it should be treated equally as important. So I don't care if you have $5 million, $10 million, $100 million, or $50,000, or $5,000, or $1,000. Like, these people should be calling you because you're paying them. When you pay someone for a service, you should get that excellent service. Good. And so that's what I, I wanted to really highlight for the listeners on this webinar. Um, mm-hmm. And I actually had one of our clients call because she did call her her person, and after we spoke for briefly, you know, I told her, I said, look, I don't have any stake in your retirement. You're paying me for trading education. I'm not, t- we don't, we do not manage funds at NEOS. Um, we're not registered to manage funds. We have no desire to do that. We just want to give people education knowledge. Right. So that you can do it yourself. We're, we're more of an empowerment company. Excellent. I, I said, love that. I said, so here's a guy that has no stake in your money, and I'm hosting free webinars to help you understand what's happening better, and the people who you're paying aren't calling you. Do you see an issue there? Yep, that's really good. That's what you have to ask yourself. You know, that's what you have to ask yourself. And um, so, you know, your, your viewers are more than welcome to go check that out. And, in fact, in that webinar, we made a special offer for people if they wanted to kind of get a taste of what we are doing, what we send out to our clients, especially right now. They can sign mm-hmm. up for a, three, a free 30-day trial of what we call our daily market update. And it's an email with a video anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes long of what's going on in the market, some different ideas. We actually gave people some stock ideas, and I'm kind of following up with those ideas on the video um, as well. But, you know, we gave these different ideas. Oh, my gosh. So it's, it's just a free trial. There's no credit card. This isn't one of those, you know, you can get 30 days free, but you have to cancel. Otherwise, you'll get charged. We actually don't even take a credit card. We've created it in such a way there is no credit card. There is no payment method. All you do is give us your name, an email address, and you start getting this newsletter. 
first 30 days. Well, that is such, such a generous offer. Thank you so much. I'm sure that our listeners will take advantage of it. Now, just in case they're listening, um, we are syndicated across multiple podcast outlets, and sometimes they don't go back to the website to get the show notes. So let's say the uh, URL, the address where they go to get this webinar at least once on here, and I will definitely make sure that it's in the show notes. And for those of you who do need to see it, it will be on spiritcenterbusiness.com and go to the podcast page. We are also uh, on Spreaker. You'll see show notes there on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, multiple platforms. Everywhere where you're listening to this, there will be show notes. Um, as far as I know, we might get syndicated in other places that I don't have control over, but as far as I know, the show notes will be there. But Mark, go ahead and tell them the address to go to for this webinar. Um, for the free trial, let me give you that first because I have it pulled up. It's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash MailChimp. You don't have to just spell it out. Well, this is big. Uh, uh, let me do this. Let let me give everyone our email address because it'll be a lot easier that way. Oh, um, okay. And then we can put the the links for the webinar and the free trial in your show notes. Okay, so perfect. They can email us at trading. Trading at here. Me- Trading, and yep, T-R-A-D-I-N-G, at yep. Neos, N-E-O-S, C-D-G, Charlie Delta Gamma, okay. dot com. So trading okay. at Neos, C-D-G, dot com. Perfect. And say, Thank hey, you. I would like a, a replay of this webinar. Um, I'd love uh, you know, to get involved in your 30-day trial and we'll send them all the proper information. Excellent. That will be great. Thank you so much. Um, Just briefly on the spiritual side of of everything that's going on, Katie kind of mentioned it, but um, let's just go into that a little bit before we close here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me put her back on. Okay. There... um there are one or two things that I really want to touch on um, that I feel are very important from the, from the spiritual side um, of what's going on. I've been really pursuing the Lord on getting a very broad perspective of what's happening because, you know, we all become very micro-oriented. And what I mean by that is we become caught up in our own lives. How is this? coronavirus affecting me? How is the economy affecting me and my account? And that's very important, but that is a micro perspective. And I wanted to kind of zoom out and kind of say, Lord, what's really on your heart? What's really going on? And he showed me, he said, I am sovereignly enforcing a global wide Sabbath. Yes, yes. Global wide state of rest. You're not now, the only one who heard that. That's amazing. Very cool. Oh, awesome. Okay, well that's great. I mean it's also it's wonderful for me to hear confirmation as well. Um mm-hmm. I know I've talked to Shannon Bates about this, um, mentioned this to Lindy, like we mentioned this to several other leaders and they're all kind of feeling the same thing. Um if you look, take a look around, now, let me stop for a second. In no way am I saying or do I believe that the father has caused coronavirus. Uh, that is not what I'm saying, and I don't believe that no. in the least. But I do believe that he is taking something that is meant to harm us and bringing his glory into it. Absolutely. And turning it for his good, and that is his nature. Um, yes. But if you take a look, take a look at the economy. It's completely crashed, and it's doing it in the U.S., in the U.K., 
in a lot of other countries around the globe. And because of coronavirus, we are being forced to stay in our homes, to not go to work, and to rest. We are being forced into a rest. And God is sovereignly doing this, giving the sons an opportunity to rest in him, to turn into him, because I believe that once we come out of this season of rest, however long or however short it may be, there will be some major governmental shifts happening. Absolutely. So very, very key, pivotal time for the sun. And I truly believe that what we choose to do, how we choose to occupy during this sovereignly enforced Sabbath will determine the trajectory of the rest of our days. Now, what do I mean by that? I, in order, if I know the Father, for him to go to these great lengths to sovereignly enforce a planet-wide Sabbath, I would have to assume that he's been giving us opportunities in the past to choose to Sabbath with him, to choose to enter into his rest. And because us as sons have not come together to Sabbath with him, he is having to enforce it sovereignly because he has a sovereign will and he has a permissive will. And he loves to use his permissive will because that allows us to co-labor with him. That gives us our free will. And if he uses his permissive will as a way to honor us. Now, obviously, there are those, and I'm including myself in this, that have not come into agreement with him and entered into the governmental rest that he has been requiring of us. So Mm -hmm. a sovereign act is is necessary. And so it is imperative that the sons of God hear the voice of the Lord, stop what we are doing, take our eyes off of coronavirus, take our eyes off of the stock market crash, and put our eyes on the heart of the Father, lean into him and listen and rest. And it is out of this place that governmental shifting can begin. And for those sons who do choose to enter into a place of intimacy during this time of rest. I believe there will be great governmental promotion and that there will be great um, reward. Reward is actually too small of a word, I feel. There will be a great shift come in the lives of those sons who choose to listen to the Father and align with this rest. Yes. And... By the same token, for those who do not choose to align, I don't know what that will look like, but I know I don't want to be on that side of it. Good point. Because for him, for him to be functioning at such a powerful, sovereign level, I know he has my attention. And I pray that he is giving the attention of the rest of the sons so that we can turn into him and hear his voice. Yes, excellent, excellent. And um, I just love how there's so many multiple layers of God's goodness because Mm -hmm. this is what you just mentioned is probably the most profound and most important, but there are other things going on that his hand is working on that Mm -hmm. is just, so exciting and so uh, it, it's just a, an amazing time to be alive let's just put it that way and we are going to see some just phenomenal things coming out of this um, season of rest and when the world is all going crazy we can just sit back and have our popcorn and watch the show because it's mm-hmm. all good on their side. (laughs) You know what I mean? We know that God is in control. He's sovereign. He has a good plan for us. Everything that happens 
will be turned to good. And I just want to fill everyone with hope and do take this time. I know that when I had a snow day uh, on Monday, I literally got uh, a video script written that I had been wanting to get done and needed to get done for two months but hadn't had the time to do it because I'm just running, 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 busy, 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 and that's just not how we're supposed to function. And so right. I, I would just encourage everyone, you know, break out that journal, break out that Bible, you know, whatever it takes to just kind of just go deep. And, and do take advantage of the training that's uh, available to us because now is the time that we can look at, um, you know, YouTube videos on how to hear God's voice better or, you know, like Gil and Adina's um, The Ultimate Impact or other Thing, other resources that we have if we have never learned how to, to do ecclesia or journeying in the spirit realm or being able to see in the spirit realm better. There, if this is a perfect time to, you know, engage, engage and learn and grow and stretch our spiritual muscle because it really takes a lot of downtime and us submitting and surrendering everything to be able to do this and this is the perfect time just like you said it is it is the perfect time and i um i do want to say one more thing because we aren't in a place of rest like you just said and it is a time that we can study and and learn in the areas that we know you always been pulling us into we're just like when when am i going to have the time to do that lord right um, well, here it is, and I, I do want I do want to say this. And I am not this is not a Neos commercial, but I do want to say that this is the time. This okay, give me the right words, Father. Speak through me. All of the prophetic words that have been released for the last twenty thirty years about the heavenly wealth transfer that's coming from the from the heavens to the earth about the um, the wealth of the rich being riches the uh, the wealth of the wicked being stored up for the righteous we I don't know about you but for 20 years I've been hearing word after word after word that there is a heavenly wealth transfer coming right it is here this is the time that Yahweh has been preparing the sons for but mm. it is not going to just be deposited into your bank account and us not take responsibility for learning how to engage that thing. This right. is a perfect opportunity for the sons to get basic knowledge, get basic understanding on how you can engage with the market when it starts to head back up. You can invest pennies. And over the next few years, your pennies can turn into a very nice chunk of money. It doesn't take a lot of money, but when this thing does hit the bottom, when the economy does hit the bottom, it will turn and it will go back up. Mm -hmm. And this is when the sun can begin to get all of the wealth of the wicked that just crashed can now be taken into the bank accounts of the sons, but we have to take responsibility for how to do it. And that you can learn from Neos, you can learn from 20 other companies out there that we don't care where you get your information. Just come into alignment with where the father has the son in this economy, in this current economic downturn. Do you want to say yeah. something? Yeah, I just, I just want to add to that. You know, a lot of people, they, they think to themselves, hey, I'll, you know, I need to prepare when it happens. Well, if we wait till it happens to prepare, you're not really prepared, right? That's true. Um, and so right now is a great place of preparation because we do see the market falling. And, again, what I'm encouraging our, our current clients to do is, you know, keep a lot of money over on the sidelines because when this does hit the bottom, not only are we going to have some fantastic buy-and-hold deals, kind of like what we were talking about with, 
the cruise lines and the airlines, and you know they're down 80 something percent. Those are fantastic to hold for years, but we also teach trading and learning how to do that skill set now, so that in six nine months you have the opportunity to use it. That's what's so critical too, right? It was yes. in David's time as a shepherd that he was prepared to face Goliath. That's if, true. If you remember when he was before Saul, he said, I fought the lion and the bear. This giant will be the same, right? And so go right. ahead and get that, that preparation. Again, it doesn't have to be with Neo. You can choose whoever, whatever company you feel is great. But spending that time so that you know how to best leverage the money that you have been given to multiply it. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yep, well said. So I would just encourage everyone to make sure that you take advantage of that free webinar that goes deep into everything we've talked about earlier and on the uh, podcast. And then also go ahead and do the 30 days of information, but really decide if this is the right time to take advantage of their training. Because... Like Katie said, we have been promised this wealth transfer, and everyone knows this is a global shift right now. Let's make sure that we're prepared. So again, the take advantage by going emailing trading at neocdg.com. And hey, everybody, I am just, so excited about this time. I want this to be a hope-filled time for you. And so I just want to bless you and I want to bless Mark and Kate for just uh, being willing to jump on and share right quick. I, you know, I send a text, hey, do you want to do this really quick because of all of the turmoil and everyone seems to have a little bit of fear and we want to just remove that and go into rest and just know that God loves you incredibly much and more than you can ever understand. And I want you to just stay spirit-centered through all of this. All right, you guys. Thank you so much again, Mark and Katie. Have Thank you so awesome much. It's such an honor. You're, you're welcome. Have an awesome rest of your week, and have a great weekend. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. Peace out.